Okay, here we are looking at the Stingray 6075 stretch to 90 inch work height. This machine is for Cat Reman model. Uh, machine serial number is 8398. There's the center probe. Machine has automatic door opener, has turntable drive, coalescing system, dual duplex pumping system, gas heat, and uh, Cliff's going to demonstrate how the door opens right now. <clears throat> First, you unlatch the door and then you press the power door opener. So there's the power door opener going. There's a chain drive on the top with a slip clutch in it. Motors on the uh, door. Very simple and reliable system. Done it a number of times. Here's your turntable. You can watch the turntable jog. This is a, to help load the machine. Looking inside the machine, we have the shim manifold. The short high impact manifold. The arm is actually down right now in the sharp washing position. You'll note that on the vertical manifold there's two manifolds in parallel. One has nozzles that are much closer together than the other one. That's the short high impact effect. Those nozzles have a narrower spray pattern. This is a reservoir cover. This is normally covered up. We have it open to be able to show the coalescing system. I'm going to get down here in a second. Here's your electrical controls. We're under power right now. Front panel. There's the coalescer. They have it operating at a very slow level. It sucks water basically off of the top surface of the water. There's a dam to stop uh, splashing. Maybe you can see the sheen getting sucked into there here now. This oil separator will separate down to parts per million. You can separate oil while washing. Chip baskets in the floor. Catch large particles, don't let them go into the tank. There's the valve that you can select either the high manifold or the low manifold. Over here in the corner is the rinse manifold. Set of separate rinse nozzles comes on at the end of the cycle. Sprays heated fresh water into the parts. Let's kind of demonstrate the uh, oil skimming effect with some styrofoam. That's how that works. I'll go around. We'll look at the tank here. <clears throat> Here's the coalescing tank. The water is sucked from the machine through a diaphragm pump, pumped by by a hose over to this tank, where the water flows across the tank. It takes about 15 minutes if you run the pump wide open for the water to get all the way across there. During that time, the oil will float to the surface and then drain out of the slot at the end. The gas burner system is an Eclipse gas burner industrial system. It's a smart burner. It has a ratio regulator that adjusts the air fuel mixture to change the incoming gas pressure so that the fuel mixture is always accurate. It's a very reliable industrial system. Going farther around the back of the machine, we have the inline filtration system, dual bag filter canisters. All the flow is split between both canisters. Pressure gauge on the inlet, pressure gauge on the outlet. So there's a differential pressure gauges. Nice swing bolt Rosedale filter housings. Uh, gasketed with an O-ring seal. Pop those off, pull, a bas pull the uh, basket out and change the <clears throat> micron bag. Micron bags are available anywhere from about 10 to 20 microns up to 800 or more. <clears throat> Water comes directly out of the pump, goes into the inlet of the filters, goes through the filters, out of the filter, through an air brake. 
and to the uh, manifold system. Got the gas burner starting now. So here comes the gas burners on. Flames on. Burner goes through a trial for ignition. that we actually have flame. But anyway, the burner goes through a startup cycle, purges all the air in the, in the flue first, throttles back to low fire, does a trial for ignition, opens the pilot gas valve, and then, then uh, starts the gas valve, makes sure there's flame, current handle drive. The pumps are running now. Both pumps we're in a water cycle. So, we're in a water cycle now. You can see the stilling effect of our cam in the front here. It's a lot stiller where the float is, uh, the suction tube for the oil skimmer is working. That's the general turbulence in the machine. Suction screens under here. The injector pump, you can inject the oil. Not oil, you can inject rust inhibitor into the machine. Remove the front reservoir cover, there's the suction screen. If I lift the cover off, something will need to be cleaned on a daily basis depending on what you're washing off. And rinse one. Injector pump to inject rust inhibitor into the rinse water. There's the two, uh, two uh, duplex pumping system, small suction pump, feeds a high speed, high pressure pump, it allows us to uh, suck uh, very hot water without cavitation, <clears throat> because the slow speed pump has large flow passages and it operates at slow speed, it can suck up to water that is only a few degrees before boiling, boiling and feeding into the main pump. Solution level control system. Single ball float rides on the water level. Um, cam inside of here works two limit switches. The water level should drop too low and shuts off the machine. I think Cliff's going to demonstrate that. So this would be the water level going down. Pumps are shut off from that. So now if we can just open the door and show the center manifold going up and down, we'll all be good.